Back then, underneath the bridge, uh, there used to be water going through that, that street over there. But uh, for some reason, they took it out. I guess it was messing up people's car, I guess. But uh, there's no more water. But also, I've noticed the steps over here, there's a lot of cracked floors over here. So you just got to watch where you're stepping at. You can see that, right? That's a wheel of fun. If you ever want to ride a bike, just come over here. Bikes are popular in the park. The joggers run around to burn some calories. El Dorado is actively involved in sports such as archery, volleyball, and hiking. The air is fresh that will help you maintain your focus on daily challenges. To all you people like Joyce, uh, exercising into like a bodybuilding or uh, high intensity, pull up bars over here. Take a look at it. Are your family think of visiting El Dorado Park for their next travel? Please have a little bottle of liquid soap, also hand sanitizer. No disinfectant are available in the area. The comfort rooms are well maintained. There are no stores or restaurants inside the park, so bring your own dish. The hours of operation are from 7 in the morning till 8 in the evening. A sports is a good thing to have you go anywhere always have like a little frisbee you know so you could you know if you bump into your friends so you could uh, play some games with them or something it only costs like a, a dollar i got it in walmart most people brought their tents to camp out for the whole day some are clever swings beds are tied onto two trees to rest on the plenty of shades the entrance fee is eight dollars every penny is worth the experience of relaxing day drones are popular today Please see the park ranger because the last thing you want to do is pay an expensive fee for violation of privacy. The latest news is to operate the drone if intended for business. To fly any object with cameras must be Flight 107 certified according to FAA. You can get it online if requested for a book for free. Just invest two hours a day. You should not have any problem qualifying to prepare for it. That bridge that I just filmed it kind of remind me of the movie uh, The War by Jet Li and uh, Jason Statham. El Dorado Park is not your ordinary recreation. SNS Construction developed this place in 1955. The average median salary is $130,959. The residence is known to be the wealthiest in Long Beach. 1968, the park was sold to the city of Long Beach. It is Lost Lagoon where ducks roam free by the lake. Please be advised some of the ducks can get aggressive because they are protecting their nest or ducklings. People were caught on camera getting chased. The good news no one got hurt. The lake is cleaner than the other park. You must still watch what you step because to avoid the duck poops. The fish are swimming in the shallow water that you can see them. At this moment, it won't encourage you to go fishing to catch some nice trout. The water is fresh, wild branches are everywhere. Please do not climb, the woods are flimsy. Might cause to fall in the water. Some brought seeds to feed the ducks, made the creature closest to visitors. Warning, there's been a reported multiple dead fish floating in the water before having it for consumption. There's a park building nearby if you have any questions. Find out the legal size of the fish to keep. Bring your fishing license. The park ranger is patrolling the unannounced to ensure the safety. Summertime is the hottest season in California. Staying home can be expensive with the AC unit constantly running. If you have any recommendation for families to enjoy to stay cool in this weather, please leave a comment below. Possibility I might visit. 
The train ride is about 10 minutes and it's really worth it even if it's like $15. You know, you get to see all the, uh, the area three. The park's really big. You could make a reservation to have like a private party if you wanted to. I'm gonna decide to take this uh, train ride, see what's, so you can see how, what they have over here available. Well, howdy, folks, and welcome aboard the El Dorado Express. Before we embark on our journey, please take a moment to get comfortable and make sure to keep your arms and your legs inside of the train and remain seated for the duration of the trip. All aboard! <laughs> Situated, I'm your new pal, Prospector Pete, and I'll uh, be your host on this historically hysterical journey. Well, looky there, we're just in time to see how Prospector Dan blasts for gold. Now, don't try this at home, folks. Prospector Dan has made a little hole in the rock and then he puts a stick of dynamite, also known as TNT, which stands for trinitrotoluene. This is a high explosive formed by toluene by substitution of nitro groups by three hydrogen atoms. And then, you know what, maybe we'll just move on then. Then Prospector Dan lights the fuse. Wait, Dan, don't light the fuse. Everyone found gold, 
but the folks who sold supplies to those miners, the hotels and restaurants, ended up making more money from this gold rush than the folks looking for it ever did. The gold rush founded many of our major California cities that you travel through today. Oh, here's a fun fact. The California state motto is Eureka, which means I found it. When you make a great discovery, like at our Ruvalo Valley Goldie's Treasures, you too can yell out Eureka, just like the 49ers did during the gold rush. Our journey is about a mile and a half. And this is a great way to see part of California's history. <laughs> you see it, don't you? You don't? Well, surprise! You're right! The train you're riding in is much like the trains of old. The very thing that brought our country together. The Transcontinental Railroad connecting the United States was completed in 1869. This train you're riding on was built by Mr. Philip J. Martin, who created it as a very ambitious hobby project in the mid-1940s. After the four and a half year endeavor, Philip moved the completed train from his Los Angeles home to the natural wilderness, which they named Sycamore Park. Then they laid a mile of track and put the train in operation. The cars you're sitting in are as original as the train itself. Many years later, the train was sold and exchanged owners multiple times until the Rubolo family purchased the train and restored it in the late 1980s. Eventually, it made its way here to Long Beach in 1995, where it was installed and operated by father and son team, Tony and Greg Ruvalo. That smooth <coughs> chugga chugga sound and familiar train whistle are the same things that folks back in the 1950s and 60s would have heard way back then when they rode the old number two. <laughs> special event or birthday party at the El Dorado Frontier, please inquire with one of our team members or visit us at theeldoradofrontier.com. Please remember to keep your hands and feet in the train and remain seated for the duration of the ride.